Here I was, sitting in Los Angeles in my beautiful office of my own late night talk show. Soon I would be driving my hybrid car to my beautiful f***ing home to kiss my two beautiful and healthy children and my husband who had taken the year off to parent so I could focus on my career. She seems fulfilled and happy to me. Her husband took the year off so she could focus on her career. Look how much peace she has. Peace like a river. Peace that transcends, peace that transcends all understanding. And I have all of this. All of it. Because. Because. What's she going to say? Everybody play the guessing game. Because of Jesus. That was a lame thing they did in Sunday school. We'll talk about that in a second. Because, because I was allowed bodily autonomy at 15. I will not be shamed into being quiet. We will not be shamed. Who's shaming you into being quiet? You have all of this because you had abortions at 15? Sweet. You couldn't have done any of this with those stinking weights around your neck of those stinking babies. I'm into being quiet never again. I will never stop talking about my abortion or my periods or my experiences in childbirth, my episiotomies, my yeast infections, or my ovulation that lines up with the moon. Dang, that's inspiring. I feel really warm for her. I feel great sadness. Is that an energy you want to invite in yourself to speak from a uh, metaphysical New agey perspective. Is that an energy you want to welcome into yourself? What was she celebrating? What was she worshiping? See, we all make disciples of something. You're making it, if you have any influence in your life, you're making disciples. But of what? Now, her form of teaching there. I mean, she's not saying she's a preacher, so she's not putting herself at risk that way. But it's sort of an inverse thing of something that Sunday schools do, lame Sunday schools. There's this thing they'll do that they'll bake these cookies, Jesus cookies. And when the cookies come out, they ask the kids, and who do we thank for the cookies? And kids sit there awkwardly. Uh, and finally, a kid raises their hand. Yes, yes, Jimmy. Um, is it? Jesus? Yes! No. I mean, the yeast and the flour, that's all common blessings, but no, Jesus didn't bake the cookies. We can thank him for the common blessings. When you're going to reduce Christ to a cookie, kids get that. When my daughter decided to be baptized, she said, does, does your church, do they do the Jesus as a cookie thing? No, they don't, honey. I don't want my daughter doing Jesus as a cookie. And man, I do not want to see the day where my daughter is screaming about these things. Yeast infections and, and periods. Yep, yeah, that's part of life. Part of the design. And to be honest with you, it's part of the miracle that is the female body. I don't think men can ever really understand that. It's one thing to go out and scream and rage. Oh, look. If you've never had the experience of being so, so emotionally overwrought that you needed to scream, God love you. I've been there. I probably more times than I'd like to admit. I, I have. Really, really, when things were so scary for our daughter, there were times where it just added up and workouts didn't get it done and I, I screamed. I, I'm not here to tell you that I thought that was particularly manly. But I did not pay four thousand dollars to go into the woods and stomp on sticks in fact i checked into this 
you can go out for free and stomp on sticks. Or beating the ground with sticks, that's free too. 4,000 bucks! That probably feels great to scream and rage with a lot of other people. What pattern is it building? What's it teaching your brain? What's it teaching your psyche and your soul? 